If you have super round eyes like me and you want to give your eyes some shape, let's do it together. Just look at how almond and elongated and actually beautiful my eye looks on this side. I normally just embrace the round. I don't mind having round eyes. I like having like the big doe eyes look. I think it's beautiful. But when I do change my eye shape and it goes more almond, I feel very beautiful. Something about it is very, very beautiful and I feel like I don't have to try as hard. Do you know what I mean? I just kind of put the wing on and then that's all the work. The work is done. Yeah, I think it looks really beautiful. Okay, let's try to do this as simply, quickly as possible, okay? I'm using the Bobbi Brown Chocolate Shimmer Ink in the Longwear Eyeliner along with the eyeliner brush. All right, I'm coating all sides. I coat the absolute crap out of this. <sighs> Deep breath, all right. This actually, it goes on super well, but it's just the placement of my face that is hard when I'm filming it, okay? So you want to look straight ahead. I don't go any farther than my pupil, and that's because I want to make my eyes look longer. If I go all the way around, it's going to just make my eyes look round again, okay? So I'm pulling it out, and I'm going to turn this way so you can see it. I'm not going flush to my eye, okay? Again, if I just go where my natural eye goes down and curves, my eye's going to look round again. Okay, so you can see my eye, my natural eye line goes down here, but my eye line that I'm painting on goes above it. Okay, then I'm going to go down here, and I like to stay close to my lash line because, again, I want it to look quite natural until I get to the end. And then when I get to the end, I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to create space between my actual eye line and my eyeliner. And again, I wanna pull it out. So I want it to go out this way. I don't want it to go like swoopy, swoopy, okay? And then you can just go in and clean it up. 1000% do this with a pencil if you like I think the pencil is fine but using this gel liner I can just go in and I just don't have to blend as much do you know what I mean with the pencil if you want more of a smoky line that's fine that's fine okay so the eyeliner is on in the shape that I desired and as you can see there is a small little triangle there that creates the optical illusion that makes my actual eye look longer. If I filled that in, you would still be looking at my eye with just a filled in wing. Leaving that gap, letting your eye kind of play that trick on you, gives you that super long eye, that very sexy cat eye. Look at that. When I put mascara on, you cannot even see that little bit of space. Completely covers it. I don't know if I actually said this, but I have a very hollow temple. Do you see? Look, you can see the hollowness of my temple. So I kind of have to watch out. I can't really do a super elongated wing because that's that's as far as I can go. That is the end of my orbital bone. That's it. So if I bring it onto my temple, then it will just start to look unnatural, which is fine if you're going for a more editorial look. But if I'm really trying to create an illusion with my eye, this is as far as I'm going to go. All right, I'll put on some mascara. And we'll just see how it looks. And then if you feel like you need to alter your wing, then you can do that. In this technique, it may take a few times to practice it. But once you get it, you can just throw it on. And you will really be surprised at how different your eye shape looks. Yeah, that looks so good. So good. Last tip I nearly forgot is if you really, really want to go for that almond shape, take your mascara and pull it in the shape of the wing. So instead of going straight up like we're used to, pull it this way. So just take it and just go this way. 
it really does make such a difference because again, when somebody's looking at you, it creates that illusion. Their eyes are automatically going this way. I'm a little bit addicted to the wings. I like it. All right, guys, if you have close set eyes or deep set round eyes and you try this look, please let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. And if you feel like it's accessible, if you feel like it's something that you would like to do or are able to do maybe in the mornings before work. All right, because we want to make this as easy as possible. All right, let me know what you think. Thanks, guys.